I mean, sometimes people will think that it's the technical skills that are the most important things in a career. I mean, there are great, I'm sure, military tacticians and people that, that otherwise yeah. you might say they were more tactical, but your ability to interact with effectively other people and to communicate seemed like those were just core skills that really enabled you to be so successful. I tell young people today and young people in Annapolis, but I think it's much broader than that is, is, you know, I'm going to pay you a lot of money to go learn how to drive a submarine or a ship and fly an airplane, et cetera. But in the end, what I'm paying you for is leadership. I, I actually now I, I'm, uh, I'm pretty biased here because I think more than any, any part of who we are, leadership is the most important aspect of solving difficult problems because it's people and you need to do it by, with, and through, and for your people. And what I've also found out, you know, for in, in the Navy, for me, particularly when I was young is the more I gave them of me, the more they gave it back, you know, many fold in terms of what we were trying to achieve. Trying to do it all yourself just isn't gonna work. Uh, so that aspect, and in order to do that, you got to be able to talk to them. And in order to talk to them, you got to be out with them. Uh, you know, I'm very, even, you know, even in this 10 years that I've been retired and I've done some public speaking around the country, I know I love going into a room and just starting to have a conversation with people. What's on their minds? What are they doing? How are their lives? Uh, you know, is there a way for me to help? You know, that kind of thing. It, it's, and I, it's, I'm blessed because I'm comfortable doing that. Uh, even in uncomfortable circumstances. And I've been able to do it around the world. 